Here they come to the NOS Energy Drink starting kick. Green goes up, and we're underway with the floor crown for the Silver Crown. We'll see if that work that was done by Dennis LaCava pays off for Justin Grant. He's going to lead early on. Boy, that's close quarters racing down at turn number two. Taking a moment to feel it out. Now, again, a 50-lap affair, 75-gallon fuel cell on the back of it. That's a lot of weight swinging around, and we got him four wide out of turn number four. Four wide out of turn number four. That's a good battle up front. These cars will change dramatically over the course of this race. And watch it down the back straight away. Race into the corner. Chase Deeds trying to make something happen. He's got that thing hustling hard down into the corner. Swings on to the front straight away. And up front, the York, Pennsylvania runner showed him how it's done. So impressive at Port Royal in his debut. We knew he had a series that just fit in perfectly. And now he's out front. So still 44 laps remain. That battle for second heats immediately back up. Look out, Logan CV just lost the uh, daylight he was looking at for the number 22. He'll run it deep down into turn number three and make a bold move into third on the field as he gets around just a grand. Boy, how about that? That's a strong move by Logan CV. Drifts to the outside now. As to negotiate that turn, he comes off turn number two well, Chad. Yeah, he's going to try to make a move on uh, Matt just ahead. Westfall, the 54 car up on the high side. Here comes CV down low. Slings it on through. He moves into second on the field, at least temporarily. Westfall says, not so fast, my friend, and right back to the inside. C.J. Leary and Justin Grant locked in a battle, two former national sprint car champions. We'll chase down the back straightaway. Dietz lies just ahead. Here comes CB, a little taste of the 22 car as he'll slip up across. Look for the cushion on the high side. Chase Dietz able to turn him back down low, but CB now, oh, look at that bold move down to the inside. Wow, that's aggressive. That, that's something you don't normally see in a silver crown car, the way you attack that. Roddy Gardner probably sort of gulped when he saw that happen, the crew chief on that <laughs> machine, but nonetheless, it worked. Now with uh, Chase Deeds under attack by Matt Westfalls, they're continuing that little side-by-side -side run down to the corner. Westfalls trying to drive up and steal the lane away from Deeds, but Deeds is quick enough to get himself and plugged into the hole on the high side. Matt's doing a great job keeping that car straight. As straight as you possibly can, it'll make it the fastest. Also not abuse the tires on these cars, although we wouldn't anticipate that in a 50-lap run. We have 31, soon to be 30 laps remaining. Westfall is sitting in the catbird seat he right is. now because he can watch what CV's doing. Meanwhile, CV gets a glimpse at the big screen every now and then, but really can't tell. Look out, CV clipped the wall that time at turn number one and two. That'll rattle him around a little bit. Back behind, Justin Grant is going tooth and nail with Cody Swanson, CJ Leary in that mix. Is Grant trying to find some speed on the top shelf, wants to look to the outside out of turn number four as they race underneath the flag stand. But that is very close quarters racing taking place. Yeah, and all those drivers have won championships. Chet, let's roll back the clock a little bit and remind folks that not only are we watching Logan Seavey's glorious night here, let's remember he won in Springfield during the day and Bacon Speedway in the midget later that night for a two for one at two different tracks. This is going to be right up there with that memory. As CV just continues to work the wheel, he's about to run down the number six car, CJ Leary. Right. He is inside the top 10 as he laps this track. That's right. Sort of skated up near the fence the last time by. Let's see if he puts it right in the center. Now, this is where your spotter can help you and say, look, You've got this one in the bag. Just keep it between the lines here. Yeah, just kind of Fred Flint's turning that thing around here as he charges down off the banking, looks to the inside of Chase Stock and into turn number three. White flag's been displayed. This is checkered flag out of four. Well, this guy deserves a whole lot of credit, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen a little piece of history as Logan CB has got it done. Picks up his third feature event win of the night here at the 41st running of the Fort Crown Nationals presented by NK Telco.